Good day, everyone. It's a joy talking to you. And today we are going to talk about work or employment in a given society. And I believe that at the end of this discussion, you will have discovered yourself. You will have appreciated some of the reasons as why you are not employed or why you are still in the same employment. Now, we are going to, get to talk about how to get employed in a given society. The desire for employment. And then there are five main ways of getting employment in the society of today. And this cuts across. It doesn't matter where you are at. These five ways of getting employment cut across all societies. So walk with me through this journey of employment. Hello, Mika is my name, and don't hesitate to subscribe to my YouTube channel where there are more videos about employment, about planning, about law. There is a lot of stuff. So all you have to do is just to go to Lutete Mika, you subscribe, and then you will get all the videos there. So let's go through employment today. Employment today. It's, very, it's a very important subject and it touches every one of us. So how to get employed? And we are saying that every one of us has a dream job. He has in his or her mindset. There is that particular job which you want. There is that particular sum of money which you want to get at the end of the month. But the question is, how do you get that job? And how do you get that particular sum of what? Sum of money. However, in order for such a dream to come, to pass, one has to take a personal initiative. One has to take a personal initiative. We all can get employed if we purpose to it. Very true. We continue with our desire for employment. It doesn't matter whether you have qualifications or not. What is important is your willingness to find employment no matter what you are going through in life. Do not let your now affect your future. That is why it is good to be positive in life. The best lies ahead. Don't let the circumstances which you are going through now affect your future. Remain positive in life. Now this study will take you through the different ways of getting employment in a given society. Now let's look at the different ways of getting employment in a given society. Number one, giving birth to an idea. Before you look for employment in another person's place, before you get that dream job you desire to, to do, why not begin by giving birth to an idea? This originates from you as an individual. This is the best employment one can give to himself or herself. It arises out of one's will and ability to think of a solution to a particular problem. One is ability to think of a solution to a particular problem. Ideas are birthed out of problems facing a particular society. Look around you. Which problem are people in that society facing? If you happen to realize that particular problem, find ways of solving that problem and you'll begin earning. That's what I'm talking about here. You begin earning. A solution to a problem facing society is an idea birthed. A solution to a problem facing society is an idea birthed. 
most inversions are solutions to a particular problem. Very true. All these inverters provided solutions to a particular problem. Desire to be a problem solver and you are on your road to being rich or wealthy. Now, it doesn't matter which qualifications you have. It doesn't matter whether you have a diploma, whether you have a degree, whether you have a master's. What matters is you being a problem solver. Is you having an idea. An idea. And ideas cut across all humans. What is important is for you to purpose to come up with an idea. It doesn't matter whether you went to school or not. As a matter of fact, when you look around you, most of the people who have done great things have never gone to school. They have never gone to school. Most of the businessmen who are doing well have never gone to school. They are what we call self-made in society. They are what we call self-made in society. Any simplification to the life of a human being is money earned. Once you solve a problem, once you, simpli you simplify a human being's problem, then you're on the road to earning money. For example, look around you. Most of the jobs you see in place are solutions to particular problems. Or most of the establishments you see in place are solutions to particular problems. For example, fuel stations. There are solutions to fuel. Schools are solutions to education. Restaurants are solutions to provision of food. Phones are solutions to communication. Cars are solutions to movement. Watches are solutions to time. These inverters sat and analyzed the problem at the time, and it is that problem which helped them come up with a particular invention. It is that problem which helped them. Desire to establish something which can solve something in society. Every human being should have that. And that is exactly what I'm doing even right now. I'm calling upon everyone who is watching this video to desire to establish something which can solve something in your society. Just look for a need of the people. And when you see that there is a need, find a solution to that need. And put a price on to that solution. And then you will begin earning from that solution. That is how you give birth to an idea. And you will be employed. You will not have to move around looking for employment. Number two. Number two is if you are a child or a friend to an influential person. And it is automatic. If you're a child or a friend to an influential person, you'll be able to get a job with or without qualifications. Because you'll be riding on his or her shoulders. Now, an influential person is a person with the ability to make others act. He can call someone and tell him that my daughter needs a job and that someone will act on his call. That is what I'm talking about. Most people want to identify themselves with influencers. With influencers. Yes, most people want to identify themselves with influencers. Influencers are of two types. They're what, they're what we call political influencers and physical persons. 
people within our community who are recognized within our community who are given respect by the public so political influencers like the head of the executive the president of the republic of uganda the president of kenya the president of america if you happen to receive a call from the president of america and is saying that could you please get employment for my daughter you will gladly do it even the president of uganda even if you get a call from the head of the judiciary or the head of the legislature you will gladly want to identify yourself with them and then we have what we call religious heads they are also influencers the head of the muslims the head of the catholics the head of the anglicans a call from such a person can influence another person into getting employment for someone who is related to that influencer even artists we have artists in our community and people desire to identify themselves with them so if you are a child or a friend to such a person you're guaranteed of employment due to his or her connections now if you do not have any influencer desire to find one person desire to get an influential person purpose to get one who knows at one point in time that person will be a solution to your problem so that, that's the other way of getting employment in a given society number three is if you are a child or a friend to a job creator a person who gave birth to an idea that's what i mean here job creators are people with established businesses known businesses in our societies we have people who have made names through their establishments we have companies for example in the republic of uganda we have nice house of plastics which was owned by the late mulwana and is currently being run by his daughter we have mukwano which is currently being run by the daughter of the late owner mandela group of companies madivani etc so if you're a child of a job creator you are guaranteed of a job whether you went to school or not by virtue of you being related to them you will definitely be able to get a job or by virtue of being a friend to them you will be guaranteed of a job in one way or another so what do you do if you do not have that so desire to have a friend who is a child of a job creator who is a child of a job creator purpose to have such people around you people who are still at school purpose to have such people around you because you will need them at one point in time you will need them at one point in time that is why i'm saying that a friend or a child of an employer will just walk into employment and for some of you who are parents the best job you can give to your child is when you think of an idea so that immediately so that your children begin working before they even graduate so that your children will not have to walk around looking for jobs they will just walk into that the oh mommy's job or mommy's establishment before they get that dream job they are looking for so purpose to begin an enterprise purpose to begin an enterprise your babies may still be young but at one point in time they are going to grow up and you are not going to take care of them forever but that which you put in place will help in paying for their salary and we hope in also taking care of, taking care of them so purpose to be a job creator number four are the good qualifications 
if you have good qualifications, to some extent there is still room for people with good qualifications. The world still has room for the excellent. A first class student, a second class upper student, with your distinct and peculiar qualifications, you can still get a good job. Yes. So for some of you who are still at university, the purpose to be the best. Everyone who goes to school or goes to university walks away with a degree. But the question is, what type of degree are you walking out of campus with? Not everyone who graduates has good papers. There are documents which speak for you before you appear. When you apply for a job and attach your documents or your qualifications, as they are looking through your qualifications, there are documents which speak for a person before they appear. Someone desires to meet the person who got such qualifications, like a first class. It speaks before the owner appears. But a second class lower, a lower, you, you are below average. Because that's what all the majority got. No one desires to even meet you. That is why you have to purpose to get good qualifications. Some institutions derive their satisfaction from employing people with good qualifications. Like Total, like Bank of Uganda and many other enterprises. And then, lastly, and this happens to be our number five, is favor. Favor. Now, this is sometimes referred to as a spiritual force upon one's life. For those of you who are spiritualists, for those of you who believe in God, some people have a special grace upon their life. It's a likable spirit upon someone's life. Now, with favor, your academic excellence may not be a priority. But what is a priority is that cover of the Lord upon your life. In that someone will just look at you and he or she will desire to talk to you, will desire to listen to you, will desire to work with you. He just can't explain it. But you've got favor before him anyway. Some spiritualists say that favor is the divine help or assistance from God unto man. And favor usually arises from the following. It arises from the fear of God, hard work, and humbleness. you fear God, if you work hard, and if you humble yourself, favor will come your way. Now those five elements are the contributors to employment in the societies of today. Every employment falls within those. Purpose to identify yourself with the one and you'll be guaranteed of employment, of that promotion, of good life, of wealth. Once ahead, once ahead, once again, I thank you for watching. And may the good Lord richly bless you. Don't hesitate to get in touch with me in case of anything on 0772-374-437. And you can also subscribe to my YouTube channel, Lutete Mika. There are more videos for you to watch. May the good Lord bless you. Thank you very much.